In just a moment, the famous Beaufort scale explained. Small boat cruising shouldn't just be reserved for the rich. I believe we all should be allowed to take the time to enjoy the adventure. Let's get ready, learn a few necessary skills, find a boat, and take off for the adventures of our lives. I'm Alan Stokel, and this is Budget Boat Cruising. In 1805, the Irish hydrographer Francis Bulford, later called Rear Admiral Sir Francis Bulford, was a Royal Navy officer serving on HMS Woolwich. He devised a scale that carries his name to this date. It's based on the previous work of Daniel Defoe uh, the century before, among others. In the 1830s, it was officially adopted by the Royal Navy and first used during the voyage of the HMS Beagle, made famous through the voyages of Charles Darwin to the Galapagos Islands, and later his book on the origin of the species. The Beagle's captain, Robert Fitzroy, would later set up the first meteorological office, the Brits call it the Met, in uh, Britain, uh, giving regular weather forecasts. Yes, we can blame Sir Robert for those darn five-day forecasts. Beaufort designed the scale with 13 classes, 0 to 12, and uh, did not reference wind speed numbers, but related the wind conditions and effects on the sails of a frigate, uh, which at that time was the main ship of the Royal Navy. The scale was made a standard for ships' log entries on Royal Navy vessels in the 1830s and later was adapted for non-naval use. In 1916, when steam power became more prevalent, the descriptions were changed to how the sea, not the sails, behaved and land observations were added. The measure has been altered several times and today many countries have abandoned the scale and used the system based on units, meters per second or kilometers per hour instead. But the severe weather warnings given to the public are still approximately the same as when using the Beaufort scale. The Beaufort scale was extended in 1946 when forces 13 to 17 were added However, forces 13 to 17 were intended to apply only in special cases, such as tropical cyclones. Nowadays, the extended scale is only used in Taiwan and mainland China. Now, at six and over, flags may be flown to indicate the severity of the weather. One red pendant indicating six and seven, two indicating eight and nine, and a red square flag with a black center indicates 10 and 11 and two flags indicates 12. Now if you'd like a free copy of my booklet in PDF form that explains the Beaufort scale in detail, please give me an email to the address below. I'm Alan Stokel. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.